Hey guys, it's the Bougie Nurse, and in this video, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. So, I'll be doing a voiceover along with talking to the camera, and welcome to my night shift nurse routine. So for those who don't know, I am a huge Nicki Minaj fan and of course she has to be my alarm for when I'm getting up for work. The first thing I like to do is pray because my first night going into work, I usually have a lot of anxiety and that's just from not knowing what to expect and not knowing what type of shift I'm gonna have and doing so definitely helps relaxes me. So after praying, I like to make my bed. As a night shift nurse, our beds are super, super important. Like when we come in the morning, we just wanna shower and hop right into bed. Our circadian rhythm is already off and our bed is like the most important. So I like to let some light in. It may be hard to believe, but it is seven o'clock right now. And due to daylight savings, that just messed everything up. Hey guys, and my daughter has just walked in. So I'm gonna take you guys through how I get ready for my 12 hour shift. I usually get about like three or four hours sleep. It's really, really hard for me to go to sleep. So on my first night going to work, I take Benadryl, I've taken melatonin, I've drank chamomile tea, and nothing seems to work. I cannot sleep past three or four hours. Like if I get four hours, I'm so lucky. That is like super rare for me. And honestly, I'm actually getting tired of working night shift because I've been doing it for almost three years now and I just can't get the sleep pattern down packed. Usually I'll take a nap with my baby. So I take her nap around two or three o'clock and she'll wake up around the time it's time for me to get ready for work. But on the days, like tonight, on the nights where it's my first night going into work, usually her dad will take her in another room so I can try and get some sleep. But when it's time for me to come back the next day, then I'll take a nap with her because it's easier for me to fall asleep on my second night back than it is on my first night going in. Yeah, let's start getting ready for this 12-hour shift. So my daughter is 18 months old and for some reason she knows exactly when I'm going into work and she likes to do a lot of mischief and a lot of attention seeking. So you're going to see her throughout this video acting up a little bit and that is our norm whenever I'm going into work. So the first thing I like to do is brush my teeth and wash my face. I know some people prefer to brush their teeth and wash their face while they're in the shower. I prefer to do things a little bit differently. So let me know what do you guys like to do. Next, I will be turning on my water, but first I have to give her all these kisses and attention because she just doesn't want me to go to work. But yeah, so I'm going to turn on the water because I like my water to be hot and steamy and let's get into it. Yes. Alright you guys, so... Makeup, hair, I never do my hair and makeup before work. I pretty much go to work looking like a potato sack. Since COVID and wearing our surgical caps, my hair is just 
doesn't need to be really done, you know? I just put on my surgical cap and go. Um, I just put on Vaseline on my lips. Okay, yeah, like I was saying. So, hair and makeup, don't do that. All I really put on my face is is this i hope it focused yeah this shantikai stress repair concentrate and i also use my shantikai rose water this is gonna focus these two products are my go-to for work and lip gloss and that's pretty much it And then hair, I literally just put on my surgical cap because no one, no one is seeing my hair anyways. So, yeah, no one is seeing my hair. So I literally just put it in a bun, leave it how it is. And, and that's it. I literally go to work looking like a bum. <laughs> like. I don't care to like have my makeup done. I know some people go to work with their face like beat, 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 like two hours worth of makeup type of beat. And I'm just there like, no, I shower, get dressed, and that's pretty much it. And now it's time for our essentials. So we have our uniform, our compression socks, stethoscope and Apple Watch, our ID, our marker, and of course our hand sanitizer. And we're dressed and ready to go so now I'm going to be making coffee um the coffee doesn't really help me stay up but I like drinking it I mean who doesn't like coffee it's just so yummy so I have two coffee machines a regular one and a Keurig but I prefer my Keurig of course So while that is brewing, we're gonna get our snacks. Snacks are a must when you work night shift. And my daughter just stole one, but it's okay. There's plenty more where that came from. We're also gonna get our dinner because we do eat on nights, even though sometimes we don't have the time. Eating is also a must. So this is my work bag. It's super simple. It's big enough to hold all my food and my work essentials. And I like this plain. If it gets dirty, it's easy to clean up, you know. It's nothing fancy. It's for work. Who needs anything fancy anyways? Alright y'all, so I have my coffee and I pretty much drink that on my way to work. Um, I have my lunch, I have my snacks. Pretty much everything is packed. I gave my daughter my Apple Watch because she was just fussing over it. So I'll try to sneak it before I leave, which will be in the next 10 minutes. Um, my shift starts exactly at 8 p.m. So I work 8 p.m. to 8.30 in the morning. And yeah, I think I'm ready to head on out. So I just set the alarm and then I sneak out before my daughter catches me. That's all, y'all.